It's my favorite time of the month. We get to take a look at amazing Lego sets from fan designers and vote for the ones that we want to see become a real set. And I really try my best to pick out the best sets that I can find from either Lego Ideas or from their new program, Bricklink. And today I'm gonna to try a new rating system to articulate my thoughts on these sets. So you'll see a bronze, silver, or a gold brick. Think of it kind of like the Olympic Games. All right, first up we have Upside Down House Bistro. And if you follow the channel, we featured one of this designer's previous Upside Down Houses, but uh, this one is something special. It's actually on its side. The first thing that really grabs you is the color palette. It really gives you that like downtown bistro vibe. And just check out the side roof wood panel paneling, this is this is totally something that you would see in an alleyway. And in the front of this building, there is this tree that is just acting as a canopy over the eating area. So on a nice summer day, what an awesome spot to just chill out. But wait until you see what's on the inside. You have everything from a menu over on the side to glassware that's hanging out in the background, hanging overhead, and you have all the elements that you would see in a bistro. So this, this designer nailed that detail. What's really neat is above the bistro, there is this dining area. And what I really love about this part is the color choice of the tiling from the designer. It seems like they methodically chose all the coloring for the set and all, all of it just works super well. But if you go up even further, there is an apartment that's above the bistro and look at all the details that are inside this apartment. You have a cozy fireplace with a recliner. You can play a guitar near it with a little library. And not only that, but there's even a little desk area tucked away in the corner. There's a, a tiny bathroom underneath the stairs. The designer just really made excellent use of the space provided here. And this set just keeps on going. There is a rooftop area with a storage so that the apartment dweller can just hide some things away, but you can also chill on the rooftop area to look downtown. I like all the foliage and the plants up there. Same thing, just the use of colors really contrasts nicely with all these browns. I love the greenery up here. Awesome choice. So we know that LEGO typically doesn't greenlight modular buildings from LEGO Ideas since they have their own line of modular buildings. But on our channel, we like to celebrate fan designers. This set is just simply marvelous. So I just wanna say hats off to the designer, give them some kudos on their page. I think they'd really appreciate it. Okay, so all in all, this set walks away with a well-deserved silver brick. I have a huge soft spot for modular buildings and this one just looks excellent. All right, cool. Next up, we have Snowy Morning in the Countryside. And this set is actually a collaboration between two different LEGO Ideas designers. They had created another set, I believe uh, last year, and it was called Witch House. So this new one is a follow-up and it's more of like a snowy version of it. So let's take a look. Okay, first off, let's talk about the snow in the set. So in order to create this three-dimensional snowy look, just like this heavily packed snow, must have been really hard to capture. This is very well done. I also love how there is this frozen body of water next to the building. It just, it's such a really neat technique. There's also little bits of greenery and flowers mixed in, which just really pops. And I love that they added color to the set. If it was, if it was all just this white snowy landscape, it might not have been as cool, but I love that they packed in some additional color. Okay, let's talk about the house itself. I like the use of colors on the outside. This light gray mixed with a little bit of a green accent to it looks awesome. I like the brown accents on the outside of the house. This slanted room is really cool. These colors give this house this like countryside rustic vibe so it looks it looks awesome so the set is fully accessible from the back which allows you to dive right into this home and i really love the smoke coming out of the chimney that that's a really nice touch so the roof of the house is easily removable to see the second and third floors of the house and i like how on the first floor we can see that there is a nice stack of wooden logs over here on the left we have a dining room table in the middle and there's a bedroom over on the right side with a small library of books. So this just looks super cozy. And the roof is a really cool standout feature. I love the packed on snow, but then you have this awesome 3D texture that they chose for this roof tiling. It just it looks awesome. So when all is said and done, this set gets a bronze brick. It's a really solid set with some standout features. Okay, let's dive into the next one. We have Vintage Toaster. And from a first glance, this looks like it'll be your run of the mill toaster you would have seen a long time ago, but I assure you, this is not an appliance that you'd have seen in your grandparents' house. Okay, first of all, this set actually works. Like, 
seriously is not just a display piece. We'll get to that in a second. But the colors on the set are spot on for a vintage toaster. That choice of green with tan is totally from the 50s, 60s, or 70s. And if you look at all the mechanisms on the side, it just all blends well together. And I love that toaster logo straight out of those decades. Really nice touch. Now the lever and the buttons are designed so well, they just are seamlessly fitting into this build. And uh, can we talk for one second about this Lego bread? I've never seen bread in a Lego form. We have toasted and non-toasted. This is just super cool. Just when you think you've seen everything, designers just come out of left field with something awesome. So what I love about the design is that it's a completely studless look. It's just so smooth on the outside. It amazes me when designers can capture that. That's extremely hard to do. They, they nailed it here perfectly, especially for the shape of a toaster. It just needs to be smooth like that. The real kicker for this set is the interactivity. So first of all, you push a button to make the toast and um, they have a little diagram here in four steps. You basically put in the, the plain untoasted bread, you push the handle down, you push a button, it slides the bread over, you lift the handle back up, and then you have actually cooked toast. So the fact that this actually works, you could put in untoasted bread and out pops the toasted version is just pure genius. Amazingly done. So all in all, this vintage toaster is just like the gold standard. It's a gold brick in my book. I love when designers can take these vintage designs and give them brand new life with Lego. Okay, let's roll on to the next one. We have the Landscape Photographer. This is a cool set. It's capturing a moment in time where you have a photographer that's looking for that perfect landscape shot and they're just propped up on their station wagon. Very unique, so let's take a look. One of the first things that catches my eye actually is the terrain. I love how the designer used this three-dimensional technique for the terrain with multiple layers, multiple colors. It really, it really pulls you into the scene. Very well done. But the star of the show has to be this old timey camera. From a quick glance, if you take a look at the hood of it and you have this control mechanism, this is a very old school camera and it's so hard to capture this with so few pieces. I'm always really impressed when a designer can capture something so recognizable in such a small scale. And it's so cool that the Lego designer put a platform on top of a station wagon so this photographer can capture that perfect shot. It really provides a very like neat vantage point and it gives this set a lot of personality. Overall, this set's gonna walk away with a silver brick. It's a very charming build and it, it tells a captivating story. All right, this next one's super cool. We have the Jumanji game board. All I can say is wow. From a quick glance, this is very impressive. I mean, it looks like the board game and uh, it's, it's pretty spot on. So right off the bat, the detail that's captured right, right away is just done very well. Take a look at the caricatures of the animals in the corners. Of course, you have your, your pathways. There's jungle foliage in the middle. You have dice on the sides. This is where you would have seen writing, I believe, in the board game. I'll try to put a picture to compare it, but this, this just looks spot on and it's designed extremely well. So not only is the interior cool, but wait until you see what's on the outside. So first of all, these golden hinges really pop and stand out. I love those. And you can clearly read Jumanji in the middle. It has the characters from the movie and from the board game itself. And how cool are these Lego dice? I think that these are awesome. Something you can actually use, which is neat. And I love that there's a spot to uh, hide them when you're not using them. Really awesome attention to detail. So without a doubt, this set grabs a gold brick. It's just a wild and wonderful tribute to such an amazing classic. This would be such a joy to build. And without a doubt, I think we'll see this hitting store shelves one of these days. Okay, get ready for this next one. I mean, seriously, get ready because one of these days, I think you'll be building the set. This is the Muppet Show. And this set has taken Lego Ideas completely by storm. Less than two weeks ago, this set was submitted to Lego Ideas and has already hit 10,000 supporters. That's, that's like unheard of. So we're gonna take a look to see why this set got so much traction so quickly. So as we get into it, the stage design just immediately catches your eye. You've got, you've got an audience, there's a spot for musical instruments, there's even the hecklers that are over on the top side over here. It's just, it's just amazing. And look at the colors of red mixed with gold. It's, it's simply beautiful. 
The backstage area is just where things get really wild. So the attention to detail here is simply staggering. There's a dress area, there's a rehearsal spot right here. There's puppets, there's props, there's just everything that you would have seen behind the scenes at a Muppet show. This, this is amazing. And taking a look at the stage area, you have all the musical instruments here. It says Muppet Show, and there's even a penguin that's just hiding down there. What a cool reference. There's probably a ton of Easter eggs and references in the set. Just look at all of the Muppet posters that you have. The colors are beautiful. This would be such a cool build to just immerse yourself in and bring back a ton of memories. Okay, now you're not gonna believe this. So the designer has actually included separate scenes that you can put on the stage. It's such a genius touch. First of all, there is a science fiction scene with Miss Piggy. You have a science sketch, a crazy science sketch with Dr. Bunsen and Beaker. And of course you have the unforgettable Swedish chef. It's just amazing that they included all of these. I mean, I could probably spend five minutes just talking about all of the little Easter eggs and details that, that are included in here. This, this will be such a joy to build. And in terms of engagement, this set has 650 plus comments. So fans are just wanting this set like crazy. I mean, this designer knocked it out of the park. They've captured the essence of this long running show from the past 70 years that a lot of us grew up with. This is simply stunning. And this set just captures everything about the Muppets in the best ways possible. I wouldn't be surprised to see this on shelves either. Easily earns a gold brick, just amazing. And wait until you see the fan design sets that we have in our video here. These fan designers really appreciate your support. Let's go help them out as much as we can and I will catch you there.